Let's begin with my swimming pool. I have a love-hate relationship with my pool. I have to monitor my pool daily. If my chlorine levels are correct, it will look like this. If they get a little low, here's what it may look like. Living organisms have to do the same thing. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and examples of homeostasis. Homeostasis is the maintenance of a constant internal state in a changing environment. It is a desirable state of equilibrium. In order to help you understand homeostasis, let's take a look at a couple of examples. Healthy individuals maintain a temperature around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If it is hot outside, your body cools itself, and if it's cold outside, it will still maintain this temperature. If it's not able to maintain this internal temperature of 98.6, or roughly thereabouts, bad things can happen. A healthy blood pressure is another example. Your body likes to maintain a blood pressure in a certain range. Your heart, brain, circulatory system, and endocrine system are all working together to maintain a healthy blood pressure. Maintaining the correct balance of water is vital for your body. Your kidneys constantly monitor your water balance and makes adjustments in order to keep the levels of water in the correct balance. Oxygen levels are also very important. Your brain, lungs, and circulatory system monitor and maintain correct oxygen levels and make adjustments when needed. One of the first things you may notice when oxygen levels are low is that you will increase your breathing rate. As oxygen levels increase, your breathing rate will slow. Plants also maintain homeostasis. A plant will use stomata on their leaves to maintain proper water levels thus ensuring optimum conditions for photosynthesis. So in summary, homeostasis is the maintenance of a constant internal state in a changing environment. Thanks for watching and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.